this is pretty much the start then. You can see it's an old kitchen cabinet door. There's hinges in there. I just took a table saw and cut it up 20 by 20 inches and shaved the corners off. Okay, so we've cut up all the wood here into uh, various triangles and rectangles, which will form uh, part of the pad. So you can see here. So what we did, we used a jigsaw and just used uh, a ruler. So that way you can cut straight edges. So we put something against here. It gives you a nice straight edge. Otherwise you'll be wondering. So that's sort of how they came straight. And yeah, triangles and rectangles. What we did with the edges, we just sanded them down here just to make them nice and smooth because it tends to splinter. Especially if you have a blade that's quite jagged here. So uh, sanding, yeah, so we've got nice smooth corners. Now uh, let's get on with the next step. Okay, so uh, we cut out a wooden square here and on top, a familiar sight, this is the centre panel from a standard DDR or ITG machine and that would be how we sort of slide or step <laughs> on our little mini pad. So you can see it's borrowed there. You can make your own but it's a little, it is a little complicated as you can see it's uh, slightly, uh, what's the word, chamfered yeah. over the edge, it's just perfectly there. So. That will form the centre panel of our pad. Let's proceed. Alright, so we're just going down these uh, triangles. triangles. Why are they triangles, I hear you ask? For the wires. Yeah, the wires come from the FSR sensors, or whichever sensor technology you choose to use. And the wires just go down the channels. It's as simple as that. It could be hexagons, it doesn't really matter, but um, triangles, we have triangles basically, so that's how it works. So just wood gluing those down, and then we're going to probably look into wiring it, which is our control box right here. And that goes there. Okay, so, we've glued all these down. Epoxy. Yeah, the only true way to glue plastic to wood is epoxy, really good stuff. It's not going to go anywhere, you can see. <laughs> it's a pain so, in the butt to use. But so I glued all thing. these down um, because we're going for the rectangle panel here. So it will look sort of like this. And uh, our 3D prints for the brackets were a bit smaller, so we had to put Shorter. a bit of wood just to, yeah, just to do that. But yeah, I think we're fine. Now we're gonna get on with some electronics. Okay, so we're just doing the wiring now. Uh, we're getting there. We're planning to cut this pad diagonally so it's more portable when traveling because this, as it stands, won't fit on a carry-on luggage. So what kind of travel pad doesn't fit on a carry-on, huh? <laughs> so that's why these cables here are chopped short so we can just put them, um, put some quick connectors in. So yeah, what we've done so far, real quick, um, these are the FSRs, we ordered 10, and you know, you never need, you never know when you need spares, so those, they've got the female connectors in here, so what I've done, I've just poked a wire in each one, we got a spool of wire, I just poked it in and then soldered it on so it doesn't come out, you can see that right there, might be hard to see there. So they're never going to come out now. So if you want to replace the sensor, you just unsolder it, solder it in, no problem. Now the wiring, they all go to this corner, which is where our little computer lives here. And now as for computers, well, this is the one we're using. It's a Teensy 4 there. I suppose the 4.1 works fine and whatever else comes out after this video. Equally, you can use something like this, Leonardo. Similar kind of deal really, but the good one about this one is it actually has pins on it so it fits into the board here that we're using. Uh, so that makes it a lot easier and because it's quite low profile, um, there's a little control box here. So when you have that, something like this isn't going to fit. And the same applies for the uh, jumper cables. If you plan on using something like this then this isn't going to fit in this kind of low profile design so that's why we're using our own wire here so um what i'm doing now i'm using some vacuum hose here i've got a little hot air gun right here 
And then we can just pair the wires off and it keeps it organized. I've put the uh, sleeves uh, all the way down pretty much. So there's a black sleeve here and a red sleeve here and that will help us match up when we disconnect the pad here. Otherwise these ones won't need you know, disconnecting, they just have a black vacuum sleeve on. And they go into the breadboard right here. I've labeled them with the pins. Just to make it easier, they may be removed at a later stage. But um, yeah, and that's it. And when soldering, I use flux. It gives a nice good bond. Uh, they're the little vacuum sleeves. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, yeah, we will continue. Okay, so it's all hooked up. So all the panels are uh, in here. Roughly the final product. Bit of mud in, which is just a little bit of tape when necessary, because nothing's going to be perfect. A couple of these end pieces here so it doesn't rattle around as much Probably glue them in, later, in case you have any inconsistencies. This is the control box, I've velcroed it shut because it tends to fly open. Uh, but in here is the, uh, that's the finished product there. So nice and tidy there. So there we go. Uh, there's all the vacuuming on the, the wires there. If you look under here, nice and tidy, look at that. So there's little uh, little wires here. And when it gets cut in half, there'll be some quick release connectors here, like a four-way Molex or something, which you'll see soon enough, but right now it's connected up, uh, installed and, and ready to be tested. So we've done a bit of modding to the pad so far, but it's pretty fiddly. So, so a bit of modding to go. <laughs> but who plays <laughs> with way offs on? Uh, no one. <laughs> it's pretty good for a travel pad. It just needs a little bit of fiddling with. Yeah. We got this stuff under it right now. Anti-slip. Yeah. So that's the idea, I guess. Mini, mini pad there. Uh, the floor's not very straight. So that's why it's doing that. <laughs> why do you put it on the uneven bit of the floor? Okay. But yeah, that's the idea. Mini pad. If the control box is any higher, you're just gonna crack it. So yeah, we'll see what happens over time. But there, uh, yeah, uh, it's a whip work in progress in regards to setting up the. Uh, modding and everything but yeah that's the idea okay. our pad we're gonna cut in half so we can fit it in our carry-on luggage on flights so we've just marked it there so we can cut it into two sort of triangles to fit now well it's done ain't it <laughs> yeah Look well this cut. bit's done that's a beautiful cut it's a nice homemade old school cut right down the middle <laughs> <laughs> We it's an emotional any time. Brackets either. Look at that. Look at that shaving on there. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna bracket this together. Um, Here, on each end. That's the plan anyway. Well, it'll be fine. <laughs> so we're missing a saw's width, which you can't really tell even if you just press in it the middle together. here. Yeah, and hopefully it'll be a. Well, now it's more portable. Hopefully fit in our bags like that or so. <laughs> See how that goes. It's a Good plan. Pad sandwich. But very important addition to the video. <laughs> We've decided to name the pad Panini. Because it looks like a Panini now. See? It looks like a Panini. <laughs> panini. <laughs> So it's been cut in half now and screwed back together using some, what are these called, brackets that we got from Home Depot and we added an extra hole just for extra support, used some screws that we had on hand. Um, I got a little bag of supplies to go with it here, all ready and portable, that so we can on the go separate it and just some little pad modding things and that's all you need. Travel pad. Bending Steven. You ruining my video. Just gonna use it anyway. Yeah. That's not bad
Panini.